We need it to survive. We all have one, and its importance to the vitality of our bodies is undisputed. The heart, the most vital organ in our anatomy, sends nutrients to our entire body. If you've ever pondered the saying, home is where the heart is, you may realize that it's a fitting saying for your most vital organ. As the heart is built much like a house, it has rooms, walls, doors, plumbing, and even an electrical system, all which supply the body with much needed nutrients. The heart's walls help hold the home together, provide access to resources, and are utilized to move oxygen-filled blood to our body. Our heart consists of four room-like chambers that regulate blood flow. The blood moves through doors, which we call valves in the heart, that open and close to control the flow of blood to other organs. The blood travels via pathways called blood vessels. These blood vessels can stretch up to 60,000 miles outside of the body. This system pumps approximately 1.5 gallons of blood every minute, sending it all over your body. What sparks all these essential functions? An electrical system known as the cardiac conduction system. This system sends impulses and signals to the heart at your heart rate and maintains blood pressure for healthy functioning. In miraculous effect, this electrical system controls the plumbing of the heart, alternating between contractions and relaxations, making beating sounds as the valves or doors opened and close. The sound made from the contractions is what you may recognize as the heartbeat, and amazingly, it is so powerful that it can continue beating even if disconnected from the body. Like a house, a heart can be affected and broken. One of the ways is by a heart attack. A heart attack, which is a leading cause of death, occurs when a blocked artery cuts off oxygen to parts of your heart muscle. You may be shocked to find that more heart attacks happen on a Monday than on any other day of the week. Heart attacks aren't your heart's only vulnerability. There are many other conditions where heart functions are affected. A heart may receive irregular electrical impulses called atrial fibrillation, or AFib for short. A heartbeat can beat too fast, too slow, or irregularly, which is known as arrhythmia. There can be unusual thickening, enlargement, or stiffening of the heart muscles in cardiomyopathy. There can be inflammation in your heart's lining, with pericardium pericarditis, or plaque buildup that leads to narrow coronary arteries in coronary artery disease. Congestive heart failure can occur when the heart is too stiff or too weak to properly pump blood throughout your body. Potential symptoms from all these conditions can lead a person to end up in a hospital bed, plagued with pain and confusion. So what caused these issues? How did I get here? Was it the food I was eating? Stress? Lack of exercise? Smoking? Too much alcohol? Not sleeping enough? Or do I have high blood pressure? High cholesterol? Did I develop diabetes? These most common symptoms of heart disease often land us in a doctor's office, seeking help and answers. This ultimately may lead us to aggressive treatment, surgery, or medications that might even add more unwanted symptoms, cause more unfortunate medical events, and open the door to medical harm. With all of these options, how do I choose? How are we sure we're making the best decisions? It's been reported that heart disease medications can lead to side effects contributing to symptoms on top of symptoms. From mild effects to more extreme impacts. Naturally, many people have decided to take better care of their health to avoid the side effects of medications and specifically take better care of their home for the love of their self and the love of their family. So how do you take care of your heart? Getting educated, making better decisions regarding what you put into your body and living a healthier lifestyle centered around total wellness, meaning a better heart. Repairs and maintenance keep a home a happy place. Laughing more is a great start. Surprisingly, Studies have shown that joy is good for the heart, along with exercising and staying active. 
living a healthier lifestyle, like eating better and abstaining from drugs, especially high-risk medications. De-stressing and again, laughing. Lots of laughing. Med Shadow helps protect our health, our family, and ourselves from the side effects of medications. Like, share, and subscribe for more health videos. Learn more about heart conditions and medication side effects at medshadow.org.